everyone, it's Allie. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are celebrating Katherine Kelly. She reached 1,000 subscribers. That is such a great accomplishment and I am so excited for her. As you can see, we have a lot of wonderful sponsors that gave prizes. So I will talk a little bit about that later. So as Catherine says, let's step on the gas pedal and get started today. <laughs> so I put a picture of her card that I am showcasing. I am using my Ohuhu 120 set of alcohol markers. I love that waffle flower stamp. I have been trying to restamp and make um, color palettes for all my different types of markers and colored pencils. I was just showing you there a little bit about the marker. They used to be shaped more like Copics, or at least I know the ones that had the bullet nibs, um, but the brush nib came now in those round barrels. Um, I like the other style a little bit better, but I do really like the markers. They, they blend great. So for this stamp set, we used um, a digital stamp from Whimsy. This stamp they had put out when the um, wildfires start, first started happening in Australia. Um, it, the proceeds from this goes to the Wires Wildlife Fund. And when I saw she used that for one of her videos, I was excited because I had bought the stamp as well and I have never used it. So I took a little inspiration from hers as far as colors, um, but I did make my own card. So I, when I got the stamp set, it actually came in the order that I have it. I just printed it out exactly how they had it. And I thought that was kind of unique because I couldn't decide which animal to color. They were all so cute. So I thought that would be kind of a fun card. So I'm, I printed it out. I can't talk today. <laughs> I printed it out um, and picked some colors to go with it. Isn't that platypus the cutest? I just love him. So I'm only going to show you coloring of a little bit um, and then we'll move on to how I made my card. So as Catherine says, whatever trips your trigger. <laughs> and one of my loves is traveling and I have never been to Australia. Um, and I learned when I watched her video that I believe it was her grandma who lived there. Um, so that was really neat. I did not know that about her. Um, I would love to go there one day. It's on my bucket list. I love all of their animals there. They are just so cute and fuzzy. <laughs> so I had a lot of fun coloring this card. And as many of you probably know, if you are subscribed to Catherine's channel, that she donates almost all of her cards to um, a couple different charities. The one I'm going to talk about today is Cards for Kids. I'm going to link it down in my description and we're going to donate um, our cards to Catherine to send to them. And that's why I kind of liked printing this whole thing out because I thought um, the Australian lingo there would be kind of fun for the kids. So I hope they enjoy it. I'm also going to put together some other cards and have my kids make some cards. So we'll send a nice package to Catherine um, to pass that along. So as you can see here, I'm just, I went ahead and started with my lightest color. Um, and then I'm going to go to my darkest. These were very small images because I wanted to fit all of them on the card. So I had a hard time on some of these staying in the lines because the I don't know if you call it the pen mark but the outline is very thin it's a very thin line and sometimes I have a hard time being very light with my markers <laughs> so I don't go over that line so I did have to do a little touch up today I usually use a white gel pen and I will go around the image or if I find I colored out of the lines, I'll just fix it up with that. But I did use their colorless blender there to kind of help me along <laughs> with that. Sometimes I'm very heavy handed with markers or um, I think it's 
part of the problem is me and just part of it is I have issues now and again with um, carpal tunnel as probably many other colorists have. Um, my day job, I type on a computer a lot. I have for many years and my hands have been acting up a lot the last few years and some days more than others um, where my hands are swollen and it's just, it's just a little bit difficult for me to control them. So I think this little platypus though came out so cute. Um, I just loved him. I think he was my favorite. I did try to color the wombat, which you'll see him at the end, and I really totally screwed him up, but I just wanted to keep going. It was super fun to color. Um, Whimsy is one of those companies that is, as Catherine says, going to be in my stash <laughs> for a long time. Um, I'm trying to read my paper so I remember everything I'm going to say and my dog's under me chewing. So <laughs> I'm blanking out here. So you'll see um, I got most of those images colored. Now I'm just finishing up my kangaroo. It was kind of hard to do this. I picked my Ohuhu markers for it but I have to say that like there's not that many different browns in the hunter. 20 set and I didn't want all my images to look the same so I kind of had to play with the colors and vary them um, and I used my grays with some of the browns as well just to kind of get a different blend so I think they came out pretty well so you'll see I am going to put some um, white highlights on them as well um, just to give it a little bit to more definition so in Catherine's video, which I will link her video down in the description as well, um, she did a lot to her card, um, stenciling, and then she stitched around it. You are not going to see me do that. <laughs> I am not the best sewer. Uh, it's not fun for me, so I just couldn't imagine doing that around the whole card, but props to her, because I don't think I would ever do that. <laughs> but I am going to take a black pen and do some faux stitching. Um, I think that was popular maybe before the stitch dies were out. Um, and I think it actually ended up looking really cute on the card. So as you saw, I don't know if you caught it maybe at the beginning of the video. I think I'm going to bring it back here in a little bit, but I had um, a little pound cake that I was eating to the right on the bottom. Um, I heard that in some of Catherine's videos, she would talk about having a little bit of snack and food on her desk, especially if her husband made it for her. So that's what I put on my desk. Um, in celebration for her today and it was pound cake with chocolate chips and craisins in it and it is a really good um, my daughter made her first communion and I had that left over as one of the desserts so I was trying to eat that and as I was doing this video the cat, <laughs> my little one who likes to make appearances in these videos kept putting his paw in it because he wanted to eat it so I had to keep pushing it out of the way I don't know how she eats and crafts <laughs> but Catherine you are one of a kind because I like would get food on my desk the cat was trying to touch it and I was getting crumbs I had to get a napkin I'm like I just can't do it <laughs> so I think I'm just a just a messy eater I guess um, but I'm gonna finish up here there's my trusty white gel pen. Sometimes I do try to go over their eyes just to, um, once you color them, it makes it a little bit whiter and they stand out more. But I have such a love-hate relationship with white gel pens. I just find that, like if you don't use them up right away and they sit for a while, they just don't work well. And I don't use it enough to say, you know, to keep it going, I guess. And that's what I did to the little wombat on the bottom. Like, I really screwed up his eyes. So, hopefully it doesn't look too bad. So now, I used some foam tape to pop that up. And 
I used a lot of it. I actually even opened another foam tape. So then I put that on the card. Oh, see, you see my pound cake there. <laughs> and I had to take it away. So these are called peel offs, and I used some gold glitter. And I get these from the Love from Lizzie kits. Um, she is actually in, I want to say she's in England um, or UK. And she does a monthly subscription kit, which I will, I don't subscribe to it, but I will buy kits once in a while. The shipping's kind of high for me when we have so much product here, but some of her kits I just can't deny. And she has many, many of those peel-offs in all different colors. Um, and they're very cool to use. So I just kind of put them under there and it gave the card a little added something. So then I wanted just to bring in a little bit more blue color. Um, so I took my scrapbook.com little sponge sponges there and I really like their sponges. They're domed and I find them very, very easy to blend with. So I wanted to get a little bit more blue on that card. Um, so I'm just going to zhuzh around, as Catherine says as well, my card. And it never fails. I always get something on my card I do not want on my card. So I'm just going to fill that in. I think that finishes it off. So um, just to finish up, please like and subscribe. If you are not a subscriber of Catherine, please do so. Um, winners are going to be announced on July 13th. You're going to want to get your comment in there by July 10th, um, and then she will announce those on her channel. You do have to be a subscriber of both the channel that the comment was picked from and Catherine's. Um, so I'm just going to finish up that card then. I'm adding my little faux stitching. Um, I used my Copa multi liner to add that in. And I just want to thank you for joining me today. Please click on the hashtags. You will find all the other creators who made videos. Um, and again, please just read my description. You will find all the prize information in there and how to donate your own cards. So I wish everyone a great day. Thanks and see you soon.